Oh, oh, in the lawn. All right. Driving on the grass. What up, everybody? How you guys doing today? Me and Cody right now are headed over to the mall because his computer is a piece of shit. It's like 20 years old, so we're gonna go get him a new one. I, I'm, we're going, I'm getting myself a new yeah, one. Cody's gonna get himself a new one. <laughs> I'm getting myself a new one. <laughs> I'm literally about to spend a rent check on a freaking laptop. Well, bro, your friend sued me for five mil, so you should be buying me things, so. No, he should be buying us things. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm still trying to get a Tesla, you know what I'm saying? How you get one of them? Well, listen, I know you just paid your quarterly taxes. <laughs> But if you want to be able to write off a little bit next quarter, I'm just saying a Tesla is a 50 grand off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I'm just, I'm just not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice, but you should just probably buy me a Tesla. I'm gonna buy myself a Tesla. You should, bro. I'm 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 not doing it because I want you to work for something and towards something. No, you're just not doing it because you don't want to. Exactly. <laughs> that too. <laughs> this guy. But yes, yeah, so I did just pay my quarterly taxes. Yay me! Yay taxes! Yay government! Yeah, shout out to the government. Shout out to the government for stealing 50% of my fucking hard-earned money. Yes. Uh, I gotta love the land of the free, right? We should just move to Puerto Rico like all the other YouTubers. We could do that. Yeah. Or we could just get the hell out of this country. <laughs> I, I mean, I feel like well, almost... Puerto Rico is technically still part of the states. But their tax laws are different. Yeah, I think. it's sick. We're going to be hitting the uh, casino tonight. We're going to be playing oh, some yeah. games, I gambling, blackjack, slots. I'll try and record as much as I can. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to record at a table, but if I'm playing something like slots, there should be no reason why I can't record that. It would be my first time ever gambling in person. You guys know I've uh, live streamed on Twitch some gambling sites, and uh, we've lost a pretty hefty amount of money. Maybe we have a better chance in person since it may be not as rigged. They, you know what they say, the house always wins. That's what they say. Well, I guess I'm just going to buy the house then. <laughs> I mean, you can afford it. Not with my taxes that I just paid. <laughs> <laughs> they just stole my whole bank account. Dude, I'm going to the casino with $5. Bro, I'm going to the casino with my tax money. No, you're not. I know, because I don't have it anymore. Yeah, you paid it today or yesterday? Today. I have to be conscious with my money and make smarter decisions so I don't end up broke again and having to get a nine to five. Like. Well, dude, play with like a hundred bucks and try and turn that into like two grand so you can like pay for this laptop. But you know how that goes. I spend a hundred, I lose it, and then I'm like, all right, maybe I'll just spend another hundred. Try and win it back. And try yeah. win it back, and then you just chase the L's, and then I'll you do end this. up. I'll down play with a two. Lot. I'll play with two grand, and I'll turn it into a hundred for you. <laughs> that seems more realistic. <laughs> yeah. It's usually how it goes. Yeah. But you know, we're gonna we're gonna pray. We're gonna do some meditation and pray to God before we go to the casino. <laughs> Hopefully, he just blesses us <laughs> with, with some some income. Exactly. <laughs> Enjoy being able to see through that. This is the reason I'm gonna crash. <laughs> this is the reason we're not gonna have vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because, because I'm because dead. Because we, we can't do a car accident. <laughs> I'm still driving my mom's car right now. My M4 gets done tomorrow. Which S so they say. So they say. It wasn't even anything drastic. It was, you know, my bumper was all fucked up. So they had to get a new bumper, repaint it, and then rewrap it. It's just taking forever, man. They got the car into the shop while I was out in Florida with you, Cody. Yeah, I it's know. Been, it feels like it's, it's been, been a while. Yeah. And everybody's asking me when I'm getting my new car. <laughs> Your answer is as good as mine. I'm still waiting to hear back. You know, when I placed an order for the car, it said uh, delivery estimated August. And then I placed the order and it said estimated delivery June. You know, and we're almost at the end of June now, so it ain't looking too pretty. I'm estimating anywhere between July and August. Maybe it'll come tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that'll be sick. All right, here we are, the Apple store. Cody's gonna try and get some money for his old laptop, put it in towards his uh, new one if they see have if it. Get a new one, yeah. If they even have the new one. <laughs> They got some weird restriction now where like you have to make an appointment even though it takes literally two seconds to just buy a laptop We like need an appointment. So they're gonna try and see what they can do It's so dumb like it's all these COVID restrictions, which I feel like they're just cutting down on staff, right? But you used to be able to just come in here right away and just buy whatever you want You don't need like a specialist, you know, uh, here's the new purple iPhone They just came out with yeah, so Cody did not get a laptop. We're gonna go grab some food real quick and come back and see if anything's open. Maybe somebody gets like a canceled appointment. Dude, that's so stupid. I, I literally said, I was like, you know, I might as well just apply for a job real quick, sell, sell you the laptop, the laptop and, and quit. quit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Seems like the best option. Get that employee discount real yeah, quick. Yeah, for real. I got a chicken cheese steak. We got lettuce and tomato on it. Looks fire. What'd you get? I got some chicken sandwiches and I'm just gonna get rid of the bun. So basically just keto lettuce and cheese. Yeah, back in the Apple store. Cody's trying to get it now. So Cody's gonna get the new M1 MacBook. It's gonna be the same color space gray. Cody's actually getting, what is it, 555 for it? 
Yeah, 555 bucks for the old. Better than I thought. Yeah, I mean, I paid like two something for it when I got it. Cause yeah. I got like the best of the best. But you got your use out of it. 2015 or whenever it was. But Purchase successful. Yeah, thank God it didn't get declined. <laughs> your card? Yeah. <laughs> what is this, a fucking cop in a minivan? <laughs> I, I've never seen that in my life. <laughs> when you got work at four, but the kids got a soccer game at five. <laughs> <laughs> Cody set up his laptop. I'm like trying to put the case on and everything, but I'm like trying to be gentle. I don't know if I'm putting it on the wrong way or not. Pre-gaming right now, got some fireball. Fireballs. Are you drinking this or you're gonna drink what you got the other day? I don't know. The tequila that I was drinking the other night kind of gave me a little bit of heartburn. I mean, this will a little bit to, you know, cinnamon whiskey. Yeah, I feel like that would probably mess me up more than some tequila would. Yeah, so we're pre-gaming right now. We're gonna take an Uber. This way nobody's drinking and driving. You gotta be responsible, stay safe. Ha 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 ha. Drunk Lance is coming out tonight. You literally have one shot. <laughs> Not even one. Bottoms, Not even a whole one. Bottoms down. <laughs> You're an idiot. So now you have to change your shirt. Great. Now we're going to be here for another 20 minutes. This is what happens when Lance takes one shot of alcohol. This. Fuck. This I just got happens. this shirt. All right. We'll go put on another new shirt. There we go. Shirt number two. I like this one better anyway. Do you have that in purple as well? The purple gray? Sort of, yeah, yeah, something like that. We just got over to the casino. I took about like four and a half shots. I'm, I'm feeling it for sure. <laughs> Lance is lit. Yeah, I'm lit. Lance is super lit. I'm excited because like I've never gambled before and in person, just online. So it's gonna be interesting for me. I hope I can yeah, record. Hopefully this isn't the start of a very bad addiction. <laughs> no, definitely well, not. Let's hope not. We'll hope not. <laughs> Here we are. Oh wow. This is nice. So here are the slot machines. Yo, this looks cool. Yo, everything's so nice in here, bro. It's all brand new. It's all brand, it's all new. brand new. And the quality on the screens are great. What are those high limit tables? That's where you're gonna be playing. Yeah? Yeah. I brought a thousand dollars. We're gonna no, try and turn that into 20 grand. Them. Lance took a loan out on his house. <laughs> Get yeah. the f out of here, bro. <laughs> I'm careful at this. Get out of here. What do you say? Oh. I'll beat his ass. You are back. So we're at the bar right now, and apparently Cody said if you play these machines here, you get like free drinks. I don't know if it's like that at this casino, but in Vegas, yeah. Well, I successfully lost 300 bucks. I don't think I'm gonna play anymore. These slot machines are just eating my money away. Julia's currently playing, and so is Cody. I can't really record much in here, so I'm trying to get as much as I can, but uh, I played blackjack. Lost on that too. So after a while of playing, Julia is only down three dollars. So she's cutting her losses there. You know, I'm down three hundred. How much are you down? Ninety bucks. Ninety bucks. I've never come to the casino and lost less than ninety dollars. Oh, that's good. So I just played a little bit of roulette. I won some money. So I'm currently down one hundred and twenty-five dollars compared to you know three hundred dollars. We we won a little bit. We're still down, but it makes me feel a little bit better. So let's explain Cody's situation. Cody was on a blackjack table with me, and which I'll probably never do again. No offense. I I. I I pretty much helped him lose 60 bucks, which would have been a hundred and what? It was, it was like, it would have been like 160 because what I split and what the dealer had. I was the last person to go. I screwed the table. My first time playing, I'm a noob, right? So not, not really know what I'm doing. Uh, so I felt bad. So I gave Cody his 60 bucks back. He played that on some slot machines, made some money back. Then he just played it on roulette. roulette made so basically I had gotten up to 275 from slots. We went to the roulette table. I put $25 in, so I basically got five $5 chips. I played some numbers. I put $5 on 20. 20 hit on that first spin, $175 payout. So I'm up for the night. I'm done, that's it. You played it. a little bit more, you lost a little I bit. Did, I did play a little bit more, lost a little bit more, but all in all for the night, I'm up $40, which is the most I've ever been up at the casino Let's in a go. very, very long time. He didn't lose time. anything, which very is Very long time. Damn, bro, get a bra, there's children in here. <laughs> Yo, Cody, is this your favorite type of soda? Squirt. Yes, sir. Squirt. Cody's been here almost a week and it hasn't had contact solution this whole week. So he literally woke up like almost blind this morning. You should have seen him in a Walgreens just like squinting trying to find shit. Bro, I, I kind of feel bad, but it was funny as hell at the same time. Yeah, and now I can't find my f***ing contacts because I whipped the form. driving like a jackass. Yeah, I was whipping the form, bro. With my dick right in your mouth. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> There's kids watching. Bro. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell our personal life. <laughs> we got fucking Velma in the back right now. <laughs> He's searching around. Bro, you might have to stop at the house because I don't know if we I have, We're we stopping are. there anyway. Oh, we are. I picked up grandma's medicine. I could give it to her. Hey, yo. Yeah, that's 
gonna be nice to be able to see. <laughs> I'm getting like a headache because I'm like squinting so much. Today is a beach day. I'm excited to try and get some color. Julia literally just came back from the beach last night. She's about to go out again. Julia got sunburn. I know it doesn't look like it. She usually just gets like really olivey, which I'm jealous of your skin tone. <laughs> but her nose got all red. I know. It's like see it. Her, what? like, body's burnt, but not, like, her face. I think it's because, like, we wash our face so much. We do a lot of skincare. Yeah, so from here, literally a line from here up doesn't tan. You know what I just thought of? Wow. And this represents us really well. You're Patrick, and I'm SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're just two fucking idiots. I'm, I'm Bubble Bass. <laughs> That's who I am. You I'm forgot bass. the pickles! Yeah. Mans does love pickles. He just bought, like, five containers. I know, I do love pickles. So we just got to the beach, and literally, do you guys see that bird shit that just landed on her bag it literally just missed her by like a hair is it on your hair though it doesn't look like it I bro i feel like i can't eat an ice cream cone without it looking sexual <laughs> <laughs> i know i've had method all too well <laughs> do it one more time dude why is it splurging out the sides because <laughs> you couldn't fit the whole thing in your mouth so i'm not i'm not an expert like you yeah a little bitch <laughs> Oh wait, the one sexual in the hood. <laughs> Cody bought eggs and it came with a fully cracked eggshell with literally nothing in it. Oh no, no, it was it was in there. Yeah, I don't know where it went. But it's probably all over in the back of Julia's car from your shitty driving. Definitely not that. Mmm, debatable. Definitely debatable. The baby. The baby bull. The baby bull. So about two hours ago, me and Julia heard this like super loud bang. We initially thought Cody just fell out of the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> but then the entire house shook. It felt like there was an earthquake. Cody looked it up. There was no earthquake and no Cody did not fall out of the bathtub. Nope. So I was like, shit, just thinking about now, like, what could it be? We came to the realization that it's been hot as shit upstairs, even though I turned on the AC. Come to find out, I went to go check out the air conditioner, messing around with it. It shot. It, like, exploded, pretty much. The entire house shook. It was fucking insane. No, there's not, like, metal pieces flown everywhere up in the attic, but, like, the thing just... Blew out, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta get a, we gotta get this thing fixed. <laughs> every time he says blow out, I think I just think about blowing his back out every time. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, we're gonna have somebody come out and look at it to double check. Absolute worst case, we're gonna have to get that replaced, which is uh, probably a couple grand. What are we gonna do tonight? <laughs> yeah, we can't sleep upstairs because it really fucking sweat to death. I was gonna say we were that. gonna stream too, but like, I mean, we still can, but it's, still can. Dude, it's 82 degrees upstairs right now. We can do a sweat it's stream. Hot. We can put that on only family. Yeah. <laughs> How about some hot yoga live on Twitch? Yeah, we could do that. I gotta borrow some pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but my beard is like barely existent anymore. I accidentally trimmed it way too much. I have this thing called like a one blade and it has a trimmer attachment for it and I put it on it. But sometimes if you push the trimmer piece in too much, it ends up like pushing in and goes down to like a lower setting. So that happened. I ended up tr trimming a spot like too low. So I, I had to do the rest like that so it was even. Or also it just looked really stupid. So uh, yeah, we gotta, we gotta regrow it back out now. Just shave it all off and Hell no. just keep the mustache. No, that, then I look like a pedophile. <laughs> you already look like a pedophile. Get the f no, I don't. You look like a stage one pedophile. If you shave it all off, you look like a stage three. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there were stages to this bitch. Yeah, there is. Okay. There, there is. Dude, what the fuck? Man's is just making a mess. <laughs> Bro, I'm at Texas Roadhouse. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> there's probably peanuts all over the fucking floor. Texas Roadhouse? Bro, actually, not. There's like a couple pieces, but most of it is on the counter. Cody's trying to make some keto brownies. And cake. And cake. And frosting. And to make this, you need how many sticks of butter more than this? This is three sticks. This is... This is three sticks? A butter. This is one and a half sticks of butter. And then this is three quarters of a stick of butter. Bro. So basically we need like six Do you realize butter. how much butter is just one stick? That is ridiculous. But I don't know what you want me to tell you. I didn't make the fucking ingredients. That's what it comes with. Or calls for. I feel like I'm going to get cancer just eating half this thing by myself. Dude, with the way you eat, you probably already have have cancer. You're right, but as long as I don't get tested, I don't have it. Okay, true. Until it's, you die. Yeah. It's because it's keto. It's all like fast. I was taking a nap and the whole house shook. And last thought I fell down the stairs. Oh, the fans. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell, tell, tell them what's wrong with it. My dad just checked it out. The fan blew off its uh, coil. So it just started spinning and then it exploded. So the thing's 14 years old and you need a blower. A fan. A fan blower. Uh, Cody can be a blower. Yeah, right. I can definitely Julia. be a blower. Yeah. What are you saying Julia for? <laughs> what? He always does that. No, but he said it just as I said. It was, it Cody's going to be a blower. Yeah, it... 
<laughs> He's just like, I'm just gonna stop talking. Yeah. It was just when you said that. It was ironic timing. Bad. I know, I know. My dad always says Julia's name, but it was just ironic timing. Yeah, it was like <laughs> right on point. <laughs> Look at my niece. Oh, what's that from? Yeah, I know what that's from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I> know, right? <laughs> working. Working too hard. Working too hard. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's the deal? Do we have to replace the whole thing? No, just your fan blower. Okay, which is how much you thinking? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> it's got to be cheaper than a whole unit. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. Probably about three grand, three yeah. five. All right, so I'm maybe a couple hundred three bucks for a fan. Years. What is that, a stick and a half of butter? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Is there water in there or no? No. It's just butter and egg? Butter, egg in the mix. Oh my God. No apple cider vinegar in this one? That's in the icing, I think. Oh, right? is it? I oh, so. I don't know. I didn't read the bag. Yeah, this was really easy Properly. to make. Looks really thick and rich. Mm-hmm, it better be with all that fucking butter. So what, there's no carbs in this? Maybe very minimal. Minimal, yeah. Mmm, that looks good. It smells really good. Cody's trying out the brownies. It looks good. Tastes like shit. It's not the worst, but it ain't no regular brownie. Yeah, when I tried the uh, batter, it did not taste good, so. Are you still gonna try some? Mm, I'll try a tiny piece. Uh-uh. No, that is not good. I just tried it. Mm -mm. On the bright side of things, Julia's parents ended up getting me some type of perishable gift as part of my birthday gift. We're gonna check it out right now and see what it is. Ooh. What is this? Pretzel saw a sticker. Ooh. Oh my God. Let's go. Big old pretzel bites. Big old carbs. You want some? No, I can't do that. I, I know, keto. You know what that looks like though? What? We're, we're not gonna talk about no, it. No, these look great though. Which one is it? The, the turnbuckle? Yeah. Ooh, yum. Cool. It is now the next morning. We had the heater guy come out. He said that he's never seen anything like this. He's heard stories about it, but pretty much the fan got wrapped up inside the heater and got mangled with all the wires and everything. It ain't looking pretty at all. We're gonna have to replace both the heater and the compressor. My mom said the last time she got her compressor replaced, it was like four grand alone for just that. And then the heater's like two to three K on top of that. So we're looking at about $7,000 to fix this. Ah! I thought we were looking at like 3K. Shit happens, gotta stay positive and move on. I guess it makes sense as to why the whole house was shaking because imagine the fan like flying off inside of the heater and just like boom, 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 boom. Just f***ing shaking everything. I, like it was so weird. It felt like an earthquake. I, I've never experienced that. We never get earthquakes in Jersey. I think we had one like 10 years ago and that was weird. That is gonna do it for today's video though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Do not forget to follow me on twitch.tv slash Lance210 for streams. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.